Hey everyone, it's uh, Spencer Hawes here with nichepursuits.com and today we're going to talk about orphaned pages and why it's so important to find those pages that don't have any internal links pointing to them and how you can fix that. So let's jump right into it. I just want to show you my website here to give you an example. So I'm going to show you uh, two ways, actually three ways that you can find orphan pages. Again, those are pages that don't have any internal links pointing to them. Um, it's kind of interesting that a lot of people will go through the entire process of writing a ton of content and then they won't spend the time to build any internal links to those pages. So hopefully you're not one of those people and if you are, it's okay. I've missed internal links on a lot of my pages too. I'm going to show you how to fix it. So one, I am going to show you Yoast SEO Premium. Uh, this is a premium tool that a lot of people are familiar with. It's very popular. They do have an internal links column here that you can sort um, and it will show you all the pages that have no internal links pointing to them. So I can see a lot of my uh, newer content um, does not have any internal links. So I need to go in and do that. So once you've identified those articles, uh, you would then need to go and figure out what is the related content, how can I build that. So uh, I guess just to, to give you an example, let's uh, see, this article is talking about Google Analytics. So, so I might come over here to Google and type in um, whatever my key phrase, you know, that I'm looking for. So let's say I'm looking for Google Analytics and I want it on uh, nichepursuits.com. And so Google's gonna show me, okay, here's all the articles that are mentioning Google Analytics. So these pages, um, these first couple of results, right, would be good to build a link back to this one. So I would come in here, you know, this one's talking about Google Analytics. I would edit this post, and then I'd find a place on this page where, you know, it's talking about uh, Google Analytics and particularly, you know, content groups. I'd, you know, I'd manually go in in here. I'd build a link, right? I'd hit update on the post, and then that I would have a new internal link pointing back to that uh, that post that I initially mentioned. So you could go through those Google results and find three or four, right, and try to build internal links to this page. So that's how Yoast SEO. That's how you could go about building internal links using Yoast SEO Premium. Now, uh, I created a tool called Link Whisper. It makes it a lot faster and easier uh, to build internal links. So what you'd come over here, you just come to the reports page. It shows um, orphan posts. I've got several here. So what I would do is I'd come to the links report and um, I could just sort these again by inbound internal links. So anything with a zero is again showing um, those are orphan posts. So if I just click the add buttons, this is really where it speeds up the time, um, honestly. So with Link Whisper, I don't have to go out and do this manual search on Google to find out what's related to uh, this post. I just click the add and Link Whisper is gonna pull back several results here that are related. All right, so Link Whisper's pulled back uh, several suggestions here. I can just quickly go through and see um, you know, here's a sentence uh, on this post, you know, the, my Sumo review, I happen to mention uh, content analytics and Google analytics. So I'm going to uh, check this box. I like that as a link. Uh, and then let's see if I have any others that uh, I can quickly add. Here's again, talking about Google analytics coming from this uh, podcast post and they're both pointing to you know how and why to create content groups in google analytics i've selected two links there i'm going to just hit add links and those are added so you can see it's a lot faster using link whisper to uh, not only find the orphan pages but then to actually add links so i've added a couple of links where i'd still be working on it if i was using uh, yoast seo so it, it it really is a pretty powerful tool there um, there is another tool that you can also use uh, Screaming Frog is a tool. It's a little bit more technical, you know, kind of just spits out a lot of spreadsheets, but it does uh, crawl your site and you can find, you have to jump through a couple of hoops 
uh, but you can find the orphan pages on your site as well. Uh, Screaming Frog does not help you actually build any internal links uh, to those orphan pages but it does help you find those. And there may be some other tools out there, but uh, those are the three really that I'm aware of. Um, and of course, I did create Link Whisper. You don't have to use it. You can certainly uh, use other tools, but I found it to be quite useful and quite beneficial. Uh, but the main reason I wanted to bring up the importance of orphaned pages is that you can see dramatic improvements in rankings in Google with just a few links. I'll, I'll link to the, the video that I created with the internal link case study that I did where I built about 108 links across my site on ontheyard.com and I saw dramatic improvements in rankings uh, in Google by building those internal links. So there's a ton of value in building internal links, especially to those pages that don't have any links at all. Uh, so hopefully uh, you found some value in this video and you can start finding those orphan pages and building links to your uh, site as well. Thanks a lot for watching and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so yet. Thanks again for watching.